How did I get that lucky? I can't believe everybody walked right past these. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another haul video for you guys today. Um, this is a really fun haul video. So <clears throat> the other day on Facebook Marketplace, I seen a lady was selling different lots of glass animals and she was only asking like $5 for each lot. <clears throat> So I messaged her and I was able to get all the lots she had except for one. Uh, another lady was got to the one of the lots before me, but that's okay. Um, uh, so I got this big box of glass for $32, which is so awesome. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys that box first. Then right after that, I seen a really awesome estate sale advertised and went to that estate sale. So we'll get into that haul here in just a second after we open up all this glass, all this, this big box of glass for only $32. I couldn't believe it. So I haven't even unwrapped anything yet. She wrapped everything up. So I'm hoping everything is okay and good. Okay, so the first thing I see right on top, this isn't glass, but this is awesome. This is a Coisonne frog. It's a blinged out Coisonne frog. Or not Coisonne, enameled. Oh my gosh, enameled frog. I'm tired. I literally just got back from the Elkhorn flea market. So and I'm doing this haul video. But anyways, he's a good, good find. So that's awesome. Cute little froggy. Then... She wrapped everything up so nice. I appreciate that. This, it's like a little glass polar bear, fun. Oh man, some of these are heavy. This is a glass owl. Beautiful. Absolutely love it. All these are also in really good condition. There's no chips or cracks on any of them, she said. She was just changing out her decor. Then... A beautiful pink swan. So pretty. Another beautiful pink swan. These are so pretty. I love the colors. And again, there's no chips or cracks on any of them. Look at the design, so nice. There's a large, a larger glass. This one looks like a flamingo. This one kind of looks like a flamingo. I like it. This one's super pretty too. That's gorgeous. Look at that art glass flamingo. Isn't that so pretty? 
So, so pretty. Or swan. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know what you, if you think it's a swan or a flamingo. Because it's on a glass base. That's gorgeous. So pretty. Sit that over there. Here is another glass swan. So pretty. Oh, here's another. This one is not glass, but here is another trinket box. This is an owl. Look, it's blinged out. So pretty. Its eyes are even fun, and it's an enameled trinket box. Cool. I love these enameled trinket boxes. Those are so fun. So, so fun. There is a glass dolphin. Really pretty. I love the cobalt blue look in there. And it's on a base. Here is another art glass. Are these like seals? I think these might be seals. I thought they were polar bears, but it's not. They're seals. There's a littler one and a bigger one. So those are cute. There's another enameled trinket box. This one's a turtle. I love all the bling. Really, really nice. These are cool. This was a good find on Facebook Marketplace. And then here's another turtle. This one's just, just a little resin figure, a sea turtle. There is these penguins. Cute art glass penguins. Oh, this one's my favorite. This is what drew me to the lot. I love this. It is a whale, an art glass whale. Look at the design. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous and stunning? No chips or cracks. I love the eyes. It's so cute. This is awesome. This is such a fun, fun piece. This is probably one of my favorites so far. This and the owl. I love those two. Here's another owl. Oh, this one's cool too. This one's really neat. Look at that design in there. Isn't that pretty? Absolutely love this piece. Gorgeous. Oh, look at these. These are polar bears. These are glass polar bears.
These are cool. This is a lot of glass animals. This is a little owl hanging thing on a leather strap, a little ornament. Oh, it's a little Nemo. He's a glass fish, an art glass fishy. He's a little Nemo. <laughs> I love, look at his little fin. That's how he sits. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love that one. Really, really, really fun art glass fish right here. Love that. And then the last one. is this amazing amazing art glass frog look at those colors isn't that amazing and fun he is absolutely gorgeous i love him he's a large large art glass frog so fun that is awesome so that was a good find on facebook marketplace i got all that that i just showed you for $32. So yes, that was a really awesome, awesome haul. I was excited about that find. So then I went to the estate sale and spent a little bit more. I spent a total of $120 at the estate sale, but I got some amazing pieces. I did get some amazing pieces. So the first, I went to the estate sale because I, the very first picture that was advertised had swung vases in it and as you guys know i don't know if you'll be able to see i collect swung vases that whole shelf up there is all swung vases so i love them i'm drawn to them i'm attracted to them and when i seen these in the picture these are so big so big when i seen them in the picture i knew that i had to go to this estate sale to try to get these well, where I was at picking up the art glass, it was an hour away from the estate sale. Um, and I didn't have anything going on anyway, so I figured, why not, right? Let's just give it a try. So by the time I got to the estate sale, it was like 20 minutes before it was going to start. And I'd figured there'd be a couple people there. I pull around the corner and there's a huge line of people, uh, like cars, a huge line of cars down the whole whole road I had to park on a side road and I'm like oh my goodness and then I walk up and I count there's like in between 15 and 20 people um ahead of me in line and uh so I'm like bummer you know I didn't think I had a chance I was even messaging my friend Alex saying I there's people from the Goodwill that go to the Goodwill bins every day um that were also at the estate sale and so I, I you know I just figured I'm I don't have a chance in heck um, of getting these swung vases. Well, the guy that was r helping running the estate sale came out and said, okay, you guys can um, go look in the garage, but the house is going to be another five minutes or so. And so everybody went to the garage and like me and a couple other ladies stayed back and I spoke up and I said, where is the entrance to the house going to be at? And so he pointed up there on the porch. And so me and the couple other ladies walked up there. And then I let a couple other people that were waiting in line for a long time ahead of me too. So there was like five or six people ahead of me and in, in that ahead of me in that line. And then they opened up the doors and everybody walked in and I, out of my peripheral vision, out of the corner of my eye, I seen this swung vase and this swung vase sitting on the table in the corner and I went straight to them and I grabbed them up. Yes, I did pay a little bit up. I paid 55 for this one, 55, but that 55 is actually a really good deal. These are really expensive now. Um, 
they're going up in price <laughs> and they're not getting any cheaper the big ones like this um so yeah i got this one for 55 and then i got this big blue one for um 45 so i paid 100 for two swung vases but like i said they are big ones they are gigantic and I love them. So I don't know if I'm going to keep, I'll probably end up keeping these two and replacing them, getting rid of a couple other ones that I have because my shelf is full, but these ones are big. These are really, really big ones. So I love them. <laughs> so I got those. Then I found this guy. He is so fun. He's a turtle. He's got a cork. I'm, he's a bank. He is signed. He is signed by the artist right there, as you can see. The only thing is he's got a little chippy on just the end of his tail is all. But he is so cute. Look at his face. He's a signed pottery turtle bank with his cork. So that's pretty cool. Then I picked up this tilt frame picture with the picture inside still. So that's pretty cool. These are really nice, um, really good condition, all wood. This is an antique frame. So pretty cool. And I picked up this really funky um, tile trivet type thing. It's on a metal, it's got a metal base around it to sit it on the thing. But I think it would be cute hung up on a wall. Look at those colorful birds. It's really, really kitschy and fun and cute. I love that. Which I might keep that actually and put that on my gallery wall. I'm thinking I might. I'm probably going to keep this. And then I picked up this really pretty Fenton piece. It is marked on the bottom Fenton. No chips or cracks. Beautiful. I picked up this cute little angel. She, no chips or cracks on her. Her wing, everything is in good condition. It says boxing for safe delivery. <laughs> so cute and kitschy and fun. Look at their eyelashes. It's absolutely adorable. And then it is marked on the bottom. Um made in Japan. So that was a fun find. And then the last thing I picked up at that estate sale was these really fun blue sky um, salt and pepper shakers in the package. They kind of look like the Cheshire kitty cat to me, but they're not, you know, they're blue sky, but look how kitschy and cute these kitty salt and pepper shakers are. I love the black and white. So, really, really fun. They're new in package. So, I got all that. Like I said, I paid up for it. I paid $120 for all that stuff. So, I don't think I did too bad. So, total that day, I spent $150 for everything. So, I mean, this swung vase alone is probably $150 by itself. So, I think I did quite well. Um, what do you guys think? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found today. And as always, if there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is in the description below and I can let you know if I will sell it outright or if it will be available in a live sale. Most everything that you see me pick up will be available in my live sales, which I host right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you go subscribe right now and hit that bell button, you'll get a notification every time I go live and when I post new videos. And um, spoiler alert, I am sunburnt because I got back, I just got back from the Elkhorn flea market. Um, and I'm going to be posting that video, um, within the next couple of days. So you want to stay tuned for that. Cause I got a lot of fun things. I'm not, I, we went to actually two flea markets, the Elkhorn and the Pekka, 
Pecatonica. I, I can't remember how to pronounce it. Something like that. It's called the Peck thing. It's in Illinois, and it's a that's a really good flea market. So, all right, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.